Hey everybody, welcome to our family journey. Today's video is gonna be a different kind of video than we normally do. We're gonna do an unboxing and a product review of something we recently bought. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we got. We went to Harbor Freight the other day and picked up the Sentec 4-in-1 portable jump pack with air compressor. So we have a zero turn that has a dead battery and a car that has a dead battery and we were looking for options uh, to jump them without using another vehicle. So we came across this at Harbor Freight um, we got it on sale for $69.99. It's normally $89.99. Let's go over some of the details before we open it up. It can be used as a jump starter, a power supply, a work light, or an air compressor. We'll start with the jump starter details. It's got 630 peak amps and 330 cranking amps. It's got heavy duty 7 gauge cables and copper coated clamps uh, for the power supply. It's got two 12 volt outlets and a USB port so you can charge your phones or personal devices. Of course, it's got the work light right there. And then the air compressor is a 250 PSI air compressor. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, so it looks like it's packaged pretty nicely. It's got some heavy duty bubble wrap, which I will be reusing. All right, so it's got the power cord in here and the needle for the air compressor. All right, so let's just go over some of the stuff on it real quick. All right, we got the on and off knob for the jump starter. We got the button for the work light. Got the button for the battery test and the USB. Got the USB port. And then we got the two 12 volt outlets. And on the back, we have the air compressor gauge. We have the on and off switch for the air compressor. And inside this compartment is the hose for the air compressor. And then we'll put this back in. Right here is where we plug in the power cord to charge the unit. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the unit and then we'll go out and jump start the batteries that we need to jump start. All right, real quick, I just wanna show this. So I got it plugged in and you see the charge indicator lights right there. So I'm guessing when it stays green on the green, it's fully charged. Um, so we'll come back when we see that fully charged. All right, 40 minutes later, we have a solid green light. So it's fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and go outside and jump start the battery for the zero turn. Scratch that, the zero turn's not dead. So we're gonna go jump the Mini Cooper real quick. All right, so I got the cables connected. I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see what happens. All right, got it started. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Move the ground cable. Positive. And it is running now. So I'll let it run for a little bit. I'll take it for a drive around the block and hopefully it'll be all right. Now that I've tested the jump starter, I'm testing the USB port. It's currently not on, so my phone is not showing it's charging. But once I press the button, it shows my phone charging. And the charge indicator is actually showing on green. So this is gonna work out great for us because we go to the land sometimes and it has no electricity. So the only way to charge our phones, keep them charged, is to charge them in the car. Um, our car does not charge unless it's turned on. So then we're wasting gas. Um, so something like this would be cool to bring out there with us so we can make sure we keep our phones charged. We can plug in radios or something like that, uh, listen to music, so that's pretty cool. Um, I can't test the 12 volt ports right now because I don't have anything to plug into them but I'm sure they work fine. The next thing I'm gonna do is test the work light. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that button. You got solid light. Press it again, it blinks pretty fast. Press it again, it blinks slower. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off in here. I know it's daytime outside, but I'll turn the lights off, show kind of how bright it is. So I would say this is probably good enough for what I would need, need it for um, from outside, putting some air in the tires at night. Uh, we can use this to kind of shine light on the tire, but 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I really won't use it that often, I'm sure, but it'll be good enough for what I need it for. We don't really have anything that needs to be inflated at the moment, but this basketball could probably use a little more air. Uh, so to test the air compressor, we're going to go ahead and test it on this basketball. We're going to try to pump it up a little and uh, show you guys how that is. All right, you just turn the air compressor on. There we go. Yeah, a lot better than using a, a hand pump one. So that's cool. Yep, it's nice and uh, full right now. So I guess the air compressor works great. Guys, I definitely recommend the Sentec 4-in-1 portable jump pack with air compressor. Um, we're about to go on a week-long trip and 13-hour drive each way. So we're going to bring it along with us. Hopefully we don't need it, but if we do, um, we'll have it with us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.